The teacher educators argue that the government has ignored their demands, violating Section 1644 of the Labor Act 2003. In May 2023, the National Labor Commission, NLC, issued an arbitral award order granting new conditions of service to CETAG members. These conditions include proposed salary grades, staff audits by July 2023, all-year-round work compensation, and top-up research allowances for the 2022-2023 academic year. However, none of these conditions has been met. Our employers represent government. And if you can decide to blatantly flout or disregard the orders of the High Court, we don't think that is a way to go. And deciding to do that has got dire consequences on the welfare of the members. CITAG's leadership says it has utilized all available procedures to address their concerns. CETAC says the plights and woes of its members continue to deepen day by day because those who are negotiating on behalf of government have neglected their duties. It continues to say, for instance, that some of its members have their salaries frozen from August 2023 till date. And that has been the strategy of government. You go on strike, they free salary. If they are restoring the salary, they restore it partially, leaving some members. And the pathetic thing is that, as I stand here talking, my good self, the president of CITAG, my salary still remained locked up, unpaid, August salary. I am not the only person. What kind of situation is that? What kind of injustice is that? The group plans to embark on strike if the mandatory arbitration awards are not implemented by May 31st. Enough is enough. We have given ourselves up to 31st of May 2024 to, as it were, decide. And when we take that major decision, I think it's something that the whole Ghana, the whole world, will hear of it and will be shocked. What decision are you talking about? We do not want to preempt. That will come from the National Council. And we trust the National Council, we trust our rank and file, that will come out with a decision that will reflect the collective good and interest of CETAC members. CETAC says that teaching in colleges of education is not a crime. And so it does not want any authority or person to criminalize or scandalize their duties as teacher educators. Christian Yale, TV3 News, Accra College of Education.